The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. Welcome to another edition of Zach's Rank Buy. I am Brian Bolin, and I am the aggressive growth stock strategist here at Zach's, and I've got two more stocks to put on your aggressive growth stock radar. So let's just jump right to it. Uh, the first one is Calm Vault Systems, and that's CVLT is the ticker. It is a Zach's Rank number one, and that's a strong buy. And it has that wonderful divergence that I love to see, an A for uh, growth and an F for value. Now, the reason why I like that is it tells me right away that I'm on the right trail here because I am looking for growth stocks. Growth investors and value investors are inherently looking for other things, different things, I should say. And this stock at $64, just like either one. So it's a $64,000 question today. All right, but let's take a look at why this is Zach's rank number one. Uh, we can see earnings estimates, and that's the main thing that, that drives the Zach's rank, Woo! Uh, have been going higher. Uh, that is the ugliest line that I have ever even tried to draw, uh, draw there. Uh, but you can see the same thing happening uh, for this quarter and for next quarter, straight up, straight up. Uh, for the full year, an excellent move higher for next year as well. Things just keep on looking better and better. And we can see the last three beats here down at the bottom have all been pretty big size beats. So when you have something like that, what does that do to the chart? Well, we can see the last three beats, there's been kind of that up and down, you know, that whole market sell off uh, despite the good news, uh, you know, here an 8% beat and, and then an even uh, nice, you know, better 28% positive earnings surprise. We can see that. The earnings estimates, and it, it, we we think about these lines as the you know the year over year lines, and the bigger the gap between the, the the more the implied earnings growth. And right now, you have you know in this in this distance there, you have the largest implied earnings growth that this stock has seen in a while. Uh, obviously, the, the with the sell off, the stock has come in a little bit, and at sixty four dollars, it is definitely one to keep on your radar screen right now. All right, let's take a look at our next one, and that's uh, Pegasystems. And this is also a $64, $64 stock, right around there. It's the $64,000 question today. So it's Pegasystems, and P-E-G-A is the ticker. Zach's ranked number one, and that's a strong buy. And this one also has my wonderful divergence there, A for growth, F for value. Let's go ahead and take a look at the earnings estimates here. And we can see it's a slightly different picture. The earnings estimates have been improving. Uh, you know, obviously, this is not the way we want to see it for the current quarter, going from a gain of eight to a loss of seven. That's that's actually the wrong way. That's going this way. Oh, boy, I'm terrible at drawing on the, on the pad there. What are you going to do? Uh, but we can see... You know, the estimates just creeping up on a year over year basis. So going from a loss of 30 cents there to a loss of 28 cents here, uh, but much better next year. So things starting to look a lot better from uh, from a loss of 51 to a loss of 22 cents. Still, those numbers aren't exactly what we want to see. And that made me say, you know, what, what's going on here? Obviously, we, we've we've got right here, you know, some big, big misses. Uh, but things have maybe they've started to turn the corner here with the recent beat. But let's take a look at the chart. Uh, and we can see here on the price and consensus thing, there's a, there's a lot to look at here. Um, obviously, the you know the earnings estimates really tumbled, really tumbled, and probably more than they should have, you know, as the stock came in after a couple of those misses. Stock has really rebounded here, uh, headed back up to that $64 level. And we can see earnings estimates are coming back. So, you know, even if earnings estimates you know, come back to this level, say, give or take, that's right around that, you know, just about a dollar. This would be about a dollar right here, this line. Uh, you know, th that would be appropriate, and that's where it's been before. So obviously the market is, is adjusting to this potential overreaction in earnings estimate move. And, uh, you know, th that, is, that caused, obviously, this dip, but then this run back up tells us that we need to see earnings estimates move up for this one. But until then, Keep this name, Pegasystems, on your radar screen. 
That's it for this week. Join us next time when we take a look at another two aggressive growth stocks for your radar screen.